The big question is, are we facing another ruble crisis or bot crisis from the late 90s, where a local currency's plunge ends up spiraling into a much broader global financial markets and economic problem? The contagion factor is key. So remember back in 1997, Thailand's bot plunge set off a domino reaction, leading to massive crashes in currencies of Indonesia, Korea, Malaysia, across Asia, tanking their banking systems and their economies. Is the Lira slide going to lead some traders to target other countries? We're looking. On the surface, what's happening in Turkey with growing uh, influence from the president Erdogan over the economy and monetary policy and President Trump's unique issue with Turkey is unique. But other emerging markets are at risk right now. These fragilities may be exposed as a result of the jitters around Turkey. We're watching Russia, South Africa, China and Mexico. All of their currencies are under pressure. There's the dollar getting stronger against all of them because they're all seen at risk by the markets from an array of bad policymaking, rising interest rates from the Federal Reserve, debt pileups, and of course, rising trade tensions from President Trump and his trade war. These currencies are the first place you want to watch for contagion. The other similarity from past currency crises the debt bomb. So we saw back in Russia, the ruble crisis, 1998, when it lost a big chunk of its value, it becomes much more expensive for those Russian banks and businesses to pay back foreign loans. Same was true in Asia, which caused a financial crisis. Turkey has binged on foreign currency loans like Thailand did back in recent years, almost the same chunk of its economy. So another big concern here is the debt and the debt that Turkey owes in other currencies. There is the number. We also know a little bit more about who is exposed to some of the Turkish debt, especially on the corporate side. The Financial Times calling out Friday three big banks, BBVA. I know you guys have been talking about this. Unicredit in Italy, BNP Paribas in France about local exposure. We're watching this place for contagion as well. Turkish banks have been lenders across Spanish, French and Italian banks. So Clearly, the contagion factor is alive and well. It's contained right now. We'll see if it flares, guys. One thing to watch is how Turkish authorities ring fence this problem. Past currency crises, you've seen a lot of action, including appealing to the IMF for a bailout, including raising interest rates sharply to contain a currency plunge, fighting the currency plunge with billions of dollars in reserves. And guys, so far, what we've heard from President Erdogan, as you've been covering, is he's asking the Turkish people to exchange their money for lira. It's not inspiring a lot of confidence. So we'll continue to watch the contagion factor, Jeff.